Morning everybody, or afternoon even. I am starting this vlog on a Sunday, which I wouldn't normally do, but I wanted to quickly speak to you about something. I'm still in my dressing gown, although I am dressed underneath. I'm going to a christening today, and I'm really not too sure what to wear. At the moment I've got these like, slouchy jeans on, and yeah, I'm still wearing my slippers. I bought these yesterday. They're um, mom jeans. Mom. Uh, which... I've never bought before, but they were like super cozy, so I thought I'd treat myself. I've had a really good weekend so far. I haven't really done much. I nipped into town. I've mostly been working. The past four or five days, I felt really good, really motivated. I oh, my camera cut out. Yeah, I've been working a lot, doing a lot, but also enjoying it. Like, it hasn't felt stressful. I've not been anxious or anything. I've just been really motivated but I did say in my last vlog that I had been feeling quite tired out to the point of exhaustion like I've not even been able to do anything at all and so although I've been feeling really good recently I'm almost like anticipating that crash and I don't know when it's gonna come I'm worried it might come tomorrow being Monday because Monday and Tuesday I normally feel tired and very sleepy and I keep getting stuck in this cycle and I'm kind of getting fed up of it so I've decided I've got to change something so this is what my plan is tomorrow when I wake up I'm basically going to see how I feel if I'm really sleepy and tired out and not really feeling motivated to do anything I am going to listen to my body listen to how I'm feeling and just allow myself to rest even if that means staying in bed all day that would be really hard for me to do because I like doing stuff I like being productive I get quite anxious when I get behind with things in life I just don't like that feeling but I need to do this for my own good for my own well-being and I've got to try something I did say that when I do take a break I come back feeling more motivated afterwards and end up getting even more done so I can't see that it's going to be a bad thing it could be that I wake up tomorrow feeling really energized and motivated and I want to do a load of stuff and if that's the case then that's what I'm gonna do but if I don't and I just want to laze around like watch Disney films or whatever then so be it I basically want to go with the flow and really listen to what it is that I feel inspired to do. And you know what, I actually feel a lot better already just from making the decision that I've got the freedom to do whatever I want. Now don't get me wrong, I've still got my list of things to do for the week, I have my cake orders, all of that, and everything will get done. Like if it's on the list, it will get done. I am very determined, I don't give up on stuff, so I'm not really worried about that, but it doesn't really matter when it gets done if you see what I'm saying like obviously cake orders people are collecting on certain days and so there is a sort of time schedule with that but as long as everything's done within the week then it's fine the exact timings or days in which I do the things that I have on my list doesn't really matter if you see what I'm saying I'm just putting so much pressure on myself and honestly I think that's what's causing this tiredness, extreme fatigue and general lack of motivation. So we'll see how it goes and I will maybe pick my camera up tomorrow, let you know how I'm feeling, let you know what I decide to do, what I'm up to. It's exciting and you know I run my own business, I'm self-employed and I've got the freedom to do these things and I kind of want to encourage other people as well you know we have the freedom to do whatever we want in life we, we don't have to stay stuck in the same things all the time like we can change and we have a lot more power and freedom than we think you know it's just about opening up our minds and exploring all the different opportunities out there Anyway, I'm going to stop talking for now because I've got to leave very, very soon and I need to finish getting ready, but I will be back to update you on my progress. Hello, Monday, the first day of taking it easy and going with the flow. So far today, I've managed to get up. I meditated for a while. 
I did my makeup. I had to go into the shop actually because a lady was collecting a cake. I checked my email. I've checked what the weather is doing today. And now it's like 1 p.m. I'm deciding what to do next. Maybe I just sit for a while until I feel inspired to do something. I kind of fancy getting out a puzzle. <laughs> doing a big puzzle. I do have like a Disney puzzle so maybe I'll get that out later or a colouring book or something. You know these just kind of child-like activities. That's what I'm fancying. But I also kind of want to nip out and get some fresh air. It is a little bit grey and rainy, but I don't know, it's okay. I always feel better when I get some fresh air. So I might pop to Aldi and pick up a few bits whilst I'm there. Sorry, for some reason, my camera is refusing to focus on my face today. Focus on my face. Never mind. Um, also, I hope you like the fact that I'm wearing bright pink to give me that Monday motivation. Still in my slippers, <laughs> but you know. And don't get me wrong, that anxiety is there. It's like that voice in my head telling me that I've got to be doing lots and being productive. And it's kind of like a a weird feeling in the pit of my stomach, almost like I feel a bit sick. And I'm not ignoring the voice, I'm acknowledging it. I'm saying, okay, I hear you. But today we're doing something different, you know? We're going with the flow. We're living life a little bit more freely. It's not easy to do for me, as somebody who likes to stay on top of things and I kind of get anxious, like I feel like I'm falling behind, but I'm not. Everything's okay. Life will continue to happen. It's just an experiment really and I just want to do things that I feel inspired to do. And I know and I trust that everything is still going to get done. So we'll see how it goes. Update, I am feeling so much brighter today. I'll be honest, yesterday, Tuesday, I was still very sleepy, very tired, possibly even more tired out than Monday because even though I did take the day off, I struggled to enjoy it just because of my difficulty relaxing. So I figured that I've just got to keep doing it a little bit more often and in time it will get easier and hopefully I will be able to just chill out a little bit and these periods of exhaustion will be less frequent. <laughs> All I want to do on the days where I do feel really tired out is sleep and eat and I've kind of let myself do that and I do feel a lot better for it. So maybe that's the answer. Maybe I just need to accept that I'm going to have tired days at the end of the day. I'm human, we're all human, and the human body and mind has its limitations, you know, it's not going to be on full form all the time, and that's okay. So that's where we're at right now. I've been in the kitchen today, I had a few last minute cake orders which I took on because I was okay to do it. It's been a gorgeous sunny day as well, which helps, and it's getting on to nearly five o'clock and it's still light. Spring is on the way last of this week's cakes to go out being collected in about five minutes <laughs> look at that cream egg oozing goo <laughs> i guess it is march now so surely that's an excuse to start eating easter eggs <laughs> another week gone by i'm feeling good i'm feeling accomplished we're into a new month now spring is almost here, the sun is shining. I'm just finishing off a few things at the shop. I've got my diary out, planning the week ahead. It's 
so that I feel nice and organised. And then I can have a fairly chilled afternoon. I ended up taking a little bit of time out yesterday, kind of a spur of the moment thing, but I met up with a friend, we went out for coffee, and honestly it was the first time I've actually been able to relax all week. Sometimes just being in the presence of somebody you feel comfortable with can be a huge help. After that, to cut a long story short, I basically lost my camera battery, my Canon one, and I was just so upset and frustrated with myself. And the reason that it happened is because I was just doing far too many things at once and not staying present. So I guess there's a lesson to be learned in that. The only thing that I can think that happened is that I maybe put it in my coat pocket and then we went out and I guess maybe it slipped out or something. I don't know, it was quite small, so there we go. But when stuff like this happens, I really beat myself up to the point of, well, I'll just feel rubbish for ages and it takes me a long time to get over it. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous. So again, I'm just learning acceptance being kind to myself, you know, these things happen and all I can do is do better next time. Remember to focus on one thing at a time and do things more, I don't want to say mindfully, mindfully <laughs> is a word that Eckhart Tolle doesn't like to use because it kind of implies that your mind is full, but doing things with more presence, paying attention to what I'm doing rather than jumping between tasks all the time. And also just focus on the positives, you know, it's so easy to get lost in all the negativity and spiral downwards. I mean, I had a great time with my friend, I was feeling relaxed. Overall, it was a good day. Gratitude, you know. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog now. I think I've talked enough. I've also just realised that my makeup is so smudged, it's because I've been outside. And as soon as I go outside, my eyes start watering, even though I've got like some kind of makeup setting spray on. I need to remember to buy waterproof mascara. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend and yeah, I guess I'll see you next week. Bye.